Warm-Up is the world's best-selling electric underfloor heating brand, manufacturing high-quality products for whole house heating. This is a simple guide to installing Warm-Up's professional matting system. This video does not replace the installation manual. So before starting, make sure you have read the manual in your warm-up pack. Before you start, you will need to measure the area you are working in to order the right number of packs for the room. Carefully work out the floor area, excluding any furniture or fittings. Once you've worked out your heated area or if you have floor plans for your project, you can submit them directly to warm up via the website, email or phone for a free quote on your heating requirements. If you have any questions, call our 24 hour helpline on 0845 345 2288. In your warm up pack, you will find the matting heater and an installation manual. Before beginning your installation, make sure you have a warm-up thermostat with floor sensor, a digital multimeter, a permanent marker, measuring tape, tape to secure to floor, a pair of scissors for cutting the fiberglass mesh, a hammer and chisel. Also, make sure you prepare the subfloor to British standard guidelines. Further help with floor preparation and tile application is available in the installation manual. At this stage, you can install warm-up insulation boards. This state-of-the-art insulation system greatly improves energy efficiency, saving you money and heating your room up to 10 times faster. This is a simple guide to installing warm-up insulation boards. Make sure the floor surface is clean, dry and free from any dust. Using a floor trowel, comb a thick bed of flexible tile adhesive onto the floor. As you go, lay the warm-up insulation boards down in place and press firmly. Stagger all the joints in a brick-like fashion. In situations where you already have fixtures in place and for renovations, follow the same process and simply cut and place warm-up insulation boards neatly around any objects. The boards can be easily cut with a utility knife to the exact shape required. When installing warm-up insulation boards onto wooden floors, you should also screw down the boards at 300 mm intervals to make sure they are secure. In wet areas, you can use waterproof jointing tape to create a waterproof joint between the boards. To start, make sure the floor surface is smooth, dry and free from dust, debris and grease. Warm-up professional underfloor heating mats must not be laid under permanent or static fixtures like electrical appliances, cabinets, tubs and toilets. Using a marker or pencil, identify the floor areas where units and fixtures will be fitted. Take a moment to double check that your plan has the correct room dimensions. At this stage, you should test the matting system with a digital multimeter. It is important to test the system before, during and after installation. Record your reading in the warm-up installation manual. Check the installation manual for more details. Start by laying the power cable in the location closest to the thermostat. Do not fix or cut the mat yet. If you're installing two or more heaters, make sure that the power leads all reach the thermostat before you roll out the mat. Remember, however many heaters you're installing, the wires should be laid at least 50 millimeters from one another and should never cross. The matting system can be cut and turned and modified to fit a specific area. Never cut the heating wire. 
and be careful not to damage the heating cable. Affix the matting to the subfloor using the double-sided tape on the mat. When you need to cut the wire away from the mat to fit around furniture or fittings, do this taking extra care not to cut the wire. Then tape the heater wire securely to the floor using small pieces of standard duct tape. Lay the loose heater wire a minimum of 50 millimeters apart. The wires should never cross. Just remember, don't lay the heater under bathroom furniture. Any wire that has been taken off the mat should be laid at a minimum of 50 millimeters apart and should never cross. Never cut the wire. Don't shorten the professional matting system. Each different mat is designed to produce a specific amount of heat. Perform another multimeter test to check that the heater has not been damaged and make a note of your reading in the warm-up installation manual. If your reading has changed, call warm-up immediately. Do not continue working. After completing the installation and testing of the heater, you will now be ready to install the floor sensor and connect the thermostat. The exclusive 3IE energy monitoring thermostat from WarmUp is the world's first fully interactive touch technology energy monitoring thermostat. The contemporary design and wide color range allow the 3IE to complement any modern decor. Touch technology in a variety of different colors and graphical settings have made the 3IE Energy Monitor a leader in its field for ease of use and interaction. Informative help screens make it simple to use and do away with the need for complex user manuals. The advanced programming ability allows you to set different temperatures at different times of the day. With up to 10 settings a day, you can keep your room at the exact temperature you desire. The 3IE is calendar-based and can be set for specific dates in advance. That means you can also use the Set and Forget holiday heating programs. No need to worry about setting your heating while rushing for the airport. The self-learning program means the 3IE will learn to start earlier on cold days and later on warm days. Weather compensation means the 3IE will automatically adjust during the day depending on the weather conditions outside. The 3IE allows you to view real-time graphs of your recorded energy consumption so you know exactly what your floor heating running costs are. The Active Energy Management feature actually prompts you to save money by reducing unnecessary energy consumption. It will help you determine the ideal temperature setting for your house. Detailed instructions on fitting the 3IE can be found in the box and the installation manual. Warm-up underfloor heating must be wired via an RCD a residual current device. Any electrical installation work should be undertaken by a certified electrician. The floor probe measures the actual temperature of the floor, allowing complete, accurate control of the system. If the probe or the power cable sit proud of the subfloor, you may wish to chisel out short channels in the subfloor. Tape down the floor sensor at least 300 millimeters into the heated area. Position the floor probe evenly between two of the heating elements, making sure not to cross the heating wire. At this stage, you should perform another multimeter test on the heater and make a note of the reading in the warm-up installation manual. If you have any questions at any point, simply call the 24-hour warm-up technical helpline. Our helpful experts are on hand to guide you through every step of your project.
Before you start tiling, check the mat and heater wire is taped securely to the floor. You must make sure that the tile adhesive and grout you use is compatible with underfloor heating. These are widely available at warm-up resellers. Lay your tiles as normal, taking extra care not to damage or move the matting or heating wire with the trowel. You need to use enough adhesive to ensure that there are no gaps or hollows under the tile. Do not store tiles or heavy items on top of the heating mat as you work and do not clean grout lines with a utility knife as you may damage the heating cable. Leave the floor to set for at least seven days to allow the adhesive to fully dry. Then enjoy the unique luxury of warm-up underfloor heating. Don't forget to fill out your warranty online at www.warmup.co.uk. For more information, visit the Warm Up website, email us or call the 24-hour technical helpline on 0845 345 2288.